A new light speed engine created by Elon Musk and NASA defies the laws of physics. Elon Musk, who wants to colonize Mars, has done it again. He's teamed up with NASA to create a new light speed engine that defies physics. This engine will allow us to travel to the stars at speeds never before possible. But how does it work? And does it mean for the future of space travel? Could this be the most significant breakthrough in space and rock and realm, or should we expect more? Elon Musk wants to make it possible for people to travel to Mars by 2050 successfully. NASA is working with him to make that happen because Elon has a history of delivering results. But the concept of space travel has been riddled with problems, especially a journey to Mars. Mars is an average distance of 140 million miles from the Earth, and it would take a rocket moving at 15,000 miles per hour for at least seven months to get there. Today's rockets use methane as their primary fuel as opposed to kerosene used in the past, and for a successful trip, this fuel needs to be pre-made before the rocket leaves Earth. But Elon Musk hopes to turn things around with a new light-speed engine rocket that could travel at par with light. I know it sounds outright crazy. Just think of an instrument that travels a million times quicker than a shooting star. Elon Musk and a group of scientists from NASA unleashed what they considered a revolutionary rocket engine, the Raptor engine. The Starship stands 120 meters above the surface, the tallest of all rockets made by man. It can withstand a thrust of up to 500,000 pounds from its 33 Raptor engines. This super-heavy rocket is currently in its last fine-tuning process for the first flight to orbit. But the light-speed rocket will not be that huge but also lighter. After all, the added compartments for fuel lengthen and weigh it more away. To develop an innovative engine internally that would save launch costs, 5 million was the goal. The engine will make space travel tremendously fast using the Speedlight engine. However, apart from being fast, the new speed engine will not use a single drop of fuel, which sounds fantastic. The new Speedlight engine, known as the Helical engine, is very fast and can reach an astounding speed of 300 million meters per second. How fast is this going to the moon, which is 240,000 miles and takes only 1.3 seconds? According to the research, Musk's colonizers will be able to reach Mars in only 12.5 minutes. If you set out for Neptune, which is 2.7 billion miles away, you'll touch down in about four hours. Dr. Burns, who worked for NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama, said, We can use this engine for long-term satellite station keeping without refueling. It uses the same particle accelerator found in Europe's Large Hadron Collider as the helical Speedlight engine. These tiny particles are fired at high speed, using electromagnets recycled around the engine and fired again. According to the simplest explanation, the engine works by taking advantage of how mass changes when it moves at the speed of light. In his paper, Dr. Burns describes a ring inside a spring to help break this down. When you spring the ring in one direction, the box recoils in the other, obeying Newton's laws of motion which state that every action must have an equal and opposite reaction. Remember, the speed light rockets work differently as it uses a controversial device known as the electromagnetic drive. It only produces thrust forces in one direction. Do you want to know how the new light speed engine works? It's not complicated as you would think. The thrust is produced by bouncing microwaves within an enclosed container. When electromagnets are cooled to extreme negative temperatures, they develop some unusual qualities. In this state, when electric current harnessed from solar energy is applied to them, they violently vibrate within the first few nanoseconds. Now, the secret lies in ordering this vibration by causing them to move in one direction. The 656 feet by 40 feet engine has no moving parts except the ion. Scientists say that to generate the Newton force, which will accelerate one kilogram of mass, some 165 megawatts of energy will be needed. According to scientists, the vibration from the electromagnetic or ions can be channeled in one direction. It could provide enough force to send any rocket faster and farther into space than any other propulsion system ever used. It might create a practical propulsion system that can achieve speeds of a fraction of 1% of the speed of light. SpaceX and NASA claims to have developed and successfully tested a propulsion system that defies physics. With the help of electrically charged gas, the rocket propulsion system can travel up to 65 kilometers per second or over 135,000 miles per hour. The engine is constructed from cold gas thrusters and light carbon fiber fuel tanks. It doesn't emit any byproducts into orbit since it utilizes no fuel. Instead, the engine accelerates superheated plasma using a magnetic field to create thrust, ensuring that combustion emissions are not released. 
Electric thrusters are the term for this engine, which operates substantially differently from the engines in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. While electric thrusters generate a charged plasma that discharges ions to move a vessel forward, these thrusters generate thrust by accelerating compressed gas. According to the reports, the lightspeed rocket engine is more potent than typical gridded ion thrusters. It might power human expectations to Mars and beyond because it takes less fuel which may be costly to launch it to orbit. It also reduces the time cargo traveling to space needs to travel. Before it's suitable for space travel, the technology must undergo further testing and development. It has been submitted for peer assessments. According to NASA specialists, it has promise. Elon Musk believes he can fly across space at incredible speeds. Even though some people feel it's impossible to do, he plans to develop an engine that can travel at the speed of light. NASA's groundbreaking light speed engine might enable vastly speedier space travel within 10 years. NASA has pumped $5 million into the project. Although the idea of an M drive is popular, it is worrying considering that only some scientists agree. NASA and Musk require a helical engine to travel millions of miles in space. A winding engine is a type of engine that doesn't adhere to the standard rules set forth by the laws of physics. At the end, who cares about the laws of physics as long as the engine produces results that meet our requirement? One exceptionally talented individual form, formerly employed by NASA at the Marshall Space Flight Center, is responsible for creating this idea. This guru is known as David M. Burns. Approaching the speed of light in the process, the new idea functions so that the fuel doesn't leave the engine as waste, but instead it is captured and used to generate almost infinitely specific impulse ions within a closed loop that is accelerated to relativistic speeds by the engine, which also slightly varies their velocity to change their momentum. After that, to generate thrust, the engine moves the ions in a back-and-forth motion along a path of travel. Ions moving through a closed-loop vacuum line while being held with electric and magnetic fields are the only moving parts in the engine. Indeed, this is a good deal as it doesn't need fuel and is unmatched in terms of speed. The particle accelerator is used in place of a weight in the helical engine, which bounces back and forth along the helix. Particle accelerator mass increases when traveling forward and decreases when traveling backward. The forward acceleration is caused by the rotating iron ring making contact with the front of the compartment. In this way, if the helical engine were given enough time and power, it could use the particle accelerator to reach potentially relativistic speeds. As a result, travel velocities of up to 99.9% .9 of the speed of light would be possible. It would take no more than a few moments to travel to Mars. To restate, it would only take minutes to place a telescope into solar orbit and make discoveries beyond our solar system. According to SpaceX, they're more interested in transportation than tourism. So there you have it the new lightspeed engine from Elon Musk and NASA. As you can see, it completely defies the laws of physics. But seriously, this could be a game changer for space travel. Do you think the new speed light engine is the greatest breakthrough in space exploration?